before this year. She had scored a grand total of eight points. Mm. Forbes, well, it's all nerds right now, and Forbes showing off a little bit after the hoop. Mackenzie Forbes and USC on top at the half. What? I tell you what, the USC has impressed me so much with their toughness, their mental toughness this season, their physical toughness as well, and that was tough. <laughs> Back behind the play is Dimitri, not even coming back across half court. Don't know if she was injured or just tired because it's been an extended run without a stoppage, and USC has their legs. This is a fast-paced game, though. You have a number of players who've been waiting to come in and check in for the last minute plus, but there hasn't been a whistle. Very often getting hot now. Every game has been a battle, so intensity like this uninterrupted play like this something that they're used to and fighting is something that usc they fight on and on davis on the turnaround another one drops that's caitlin davis with four great patience she would pass it it never did so she took the easy one well <laughs> cameron brink is a shooter Dimitri for Iriafin. Iriafin double in trouble. Ariel in amongst the trees for two. If she can get out in transition because that's where she can really thrive. Here's a three again. Stanford continues to fill it up. They are four for four from outside the three point line. Iriafin wants to go to work with Brink. Brink from inside the three point arc for two. Sipa's gone right over Watkins. Now Watkins through traffic with the left. No, but there's the follow-up by Rhea Marshall. Forbes goes down in trouble. Sticks with it, and Williams off the window for two. Back to Iriafin. Most improved player in the Pac-12. Knocks it down Man, from outside. That's tough, and she was open early in the possession on the left block. Now Stanford, without Juju in the game, could just play normal man-to-man -man defense. <laughs> you, you, there is the Juju defense, and then there's your standard defense. How about this impact off the bench? It really is remarkable, the work that USC has done on the grass. Great pass out. What an impact by Kayla Williams off the bench. Brink puts it on the ground and drives for two and a chance for a three-point play. This morning, don't let the Stanford Bigs drive the lane line, and that's exactly what... Figures now with 11, four of six from the field, including two three-pointers made. Brink there defensively. We just talked about the top shot blocker in Division One. So... Now Juju left, right, and then a block. What a play by Brink denying Watkins. Forbes was hot early, not this time. Flying in for the rebound. USC's been very active and strong on the glass. And, and they get a second chance out of it. And it's fair. Forbes now with a team high 12. Watkins was inside. A lot of contact. It's Brink who comes up with it and gets the two. Here's Forbes. Forbes with five. Forbes on the run. Yes, what a half for Mackenzie Forbes. 14 points for the grad student from Folsom, California. But it's Mackenzie Forbes and USC on top at the half. Plenty to get to at halftime. Let's get to the halftime report. Kevin Connors and Charlie Green. What Stanford is doing defensively right now, like Stanford just being physical with Juju. Hey, I like it. Involve your post players because that's who Stanford is playing. Hannah Jump did not score for Stanford. Attempted just one three-pointer. That shot's going to be short. May have been deflected by Watkins. Ice cubes are usually good in the desert. They're bad here for what Juju's trying to do in Vegas. Forbes works with the screen. Drop back inside. Brink there defensively. With four on the shot clock. Soft touch from the baseline, beating the shot clock as Marshall for two. And filling up the bucket, we had Mackenzie Forbes has had a... Forbes circles back out. A little closer in for Marshall, and she'll knock it down for two.
take on a different role as long as you're helping your team win. Pazgana with a finish for two. First points of the second half for the junior. She's got seven. Shows a good handle. Tough shot. Wow. Finally drops down. Her first field goal of the game. D. Forbes, and how about this tough shot by Juju? Mm. I mean, just changing her body position, getting that to go. Oh. Forbes. Little fadeaway, Mackenzie Forbes hits again. Seven of 12 numbers here for Juju if she hurries. And Juju knows how to hurry. Couldn't get it. Brink gets back into the play and gets the block. A great job again by USC, though, attacking the glass. Beautiful block. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised. Bit of a force. Shot clock did not reset. So Forbes has to launch it. This is an easier look, and she knocks it down for three. Mackenzie Forbes having a day. For USC, and they've done such a good job hitting from the perimeter. Mackenzie Forbes draining that three. On the drive, Buzgana, the gamble for the steal by Marshall went for naught. USC is a plus 17, Rebecca, in rebound margin. Here we it for two. So this is the thing that's so interesting to me. When these teams met the first time, they needed to get more touches into the post, uh, you know, just share the basketball a little bit more. Dimitri, that looks good. It is good. Brooke Dimitri's first point. She is a shooter. And for trying to stay in it, Dimitri towing the line as well. Join us for the last 10. And the offensive rebounds to your point, 16 for USC, four for Stanford. Padilla to start the fourth with a three. Really well drawn up and executed play. I think you can take advantage of that a little bit more if you're the Cardinal. Clardy on the cross, takes it at Juju. What a finish by Chloe Clardy. The freshman was trying to get it to her fellow post, Ariaf, and couldn't do it. And on the run for two is Forbes. Mackenzie Forbes after Davis is disruptive on the defensive end, just going end to end. She's really good. 17 points in the semifinal double overtime win against UCLA, 21 today. Ariapa with the answer. Padilla defended by jump. And then Clardy jumps through to get the steal. In for two more. Odor and uses it off the glass so she doesn't get picked and or blocked and then Clardy going the other way. USC's got the rebound. Forbes transition three. Stay hot, Kenzie Forbes. Makes you champions. And they're closing in on being five minutes away from a Pac-12 tournament championship. There's Brink with the block. The championship game. Hannah jump. Banks in a three. That's quite the way to get the first three of the game for jump. Here is Hannah, defended by Forbes. Back outside, Brink. Can she get hot again from three? Yes. Cam Brink knocks down the three. Padilla with five on the shot clock. On the drive, a little bit of an opening and a finish by Davis. Juju off the hands of Brink and out of bounds. By the way, Hannah Jump just got her hand completely arm taken off. Forbes gets it back. Mid-range jumper won't drop for Forbes, and Iriafen has the rebound. So Stanford gets a stop. Iriafen quickly into the front court. It has to happen quickly for Stanford, and Iriafen has 16. What a... Iriafen on the turnaround off the window for two. They hand off to jump, three on the way. A little too strong, out of the reach of Brink, and here's Padilla quickly into the front court. Juju calls for it, Juju in for two. On the pull up, that's short, the rebound into the hands of Padilla. Off to Forbes, across half court, and USC, Pac-12 champions in Las Vegas.
Stanford's game plan was to do their best to take away Juju Watkins and see if the rest of the USC Trojans could score enough to lead them to a Pac-12 championship. And the rest of the Trojans did just that. Juju Watkins' presence on the court allowed for that, and all of her team's teammates came through, in particular Mackenzie Forbes. What an incredible performance by the grad student.